Hi, this is Dr. Alicia Wax Thomas. I am your history instructor for History 101, and some of you may be taking me for History 102, and these are Western Civ courses. Um, for this brief little video, I just want to um, disclose some information to you and also give you some tips. First off, my class is a heavy, heavy lecture-based class, um, so therefore you will be responsible for taking notes. Um, I advise you to take your notes as diligently as you possibly can. Um, also, I typically will use an outline or um, for the purpose of these videos, you will see a PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is basically the outline. Uh, when you are taking notes, try to pay attention to the who, the what, the why, and the where. The when is important uh, when we're discussing history. However, this is a survey 100 level class and I realize that many of you are only enrolled in this class because you have to have the course credit for whatever degree it is that you're pursuing. So with that said, I'm more concerned with you knowing the importance of the event or the importance of the person or the importance of whatever document we may be studying. Okay, um, I will mention dates. Dates are not heavily tested in my 100 level class. Uh, I may test you on some dates. If I test you on a date, I will clearly tell you, you need to know this date. You need to know this date. Okay. Uh, also, in line with writing your notes or taking notes, I encourage you to rewrite your notes. Once you take your notes, go back and rewrite them or type them if you prefer. But in my opinion, that is part of the learning process, actually absorbing the information by either writing it or typing it again. Then you need to study your notes and you need to study your notes on a daily basis. Do not wait until the proverbial 99th hour to try to start studying for a test that is going to be given that day or the next day. Most of us in this world are not gifted to where we can look at information one time if it is a large volume of it and know it all. Okay, Most of us, and notice I'm saying us because I'm putting myself, I'm lumping myself in with, with the others, most of us need time. Uh, over a period of maybe days to really truly absorb information and to fully understand uh, what it is that we're taking in. Okay, So study it on a daily basis. I advise you to study it in chunks. Uh, don't try to study for two and three hours on end. Break it up into maybe 20 minute chunks or something like that. Okay. Another thing, um, in this class we will start, if it, if you're taking me for uh, Western Civ 101, we will start uh, with the beginnings of man. And when we start at that point, the issue of creation versus evolution sometimes comes up. I want to make the statement, I'm not here to judge you one way or the other if you believe in creation versus evolution or you may not accept either one that's that's your prerogative that's up to you you decide what you believe my job is to expose you to the academic information regarding what has been discovered dealing with the early beginnings of man okay uh, also, in this class, we will cover the three major monotheistic religions of the West, and they are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and we will cover them in that chronological order. Judaism will appear on the first test. Uh, Christianity will appear on the uh, third test when we're dealing with the Romans. And Islam usually will appear around my fourth test when um, 
I'm dealing with after the fall of the Roman Empire. Once again, what religion you practice or may not practice, that is something for you to decide. It is not for me to decide. You will need to know some of the basic fundamental beliefs of these three religions to be successful on the test. But are you required to, to, to believe them? No, you're not. That, that, that's something that you decide once again. Uh, I will say for the record, I make no secret about it, I myself am a Christian. But you may be a Muslim or you may be a Jew, or you may be a Buddhist, or you may be Hindu. It does not matter to me. I'm not here to convert you. Okay, so uh, I hope that these tips and some of this information will help you. Uh, also, one other thing before I close out, the timeline. Uh, when dealing with BC and AD, I'm a traditionalist. I still use the, the terms BC and AD on the timeline. Um, your textbook, however, may be using uh, BCE, which means before the Common Era, and it will pair up with BC, okay? And it may be using CE, which means Common Era, and that will pair up with the time frame of AD, okay? Uh, also, if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me or to see me after class, and uh, I will be happy to discuss anything uh, you may be confused on or any questions you may have. Thank you. Bye-bye.